Look up at that airliner, a 900,000-pound metal tube soaring effortlessly through the sky. But how exactly does it stay up there? If you learned in school that it's because air moves faster over the curved top of the wing, getting lower pressure, I'm about to blow your mind. The real physics behind flight is far more fascinating. First, consider the wing's angle. When tilted slightly upward, it physically redirects air downward. According to Newton's third law, if the wing pushes air down, the air must push the wing up with equal force. This action-reaction is a major source of lift, but there's more. The wing's carefully engineered shape creates a complex pressure distribution. As air flows around the wing, it clings to the curved surface, a phenomenon called the Coanda effect. This creates a precise pattern of high and low pressure zones that literally pulls the aircraft upward. Even more surprising, a flat sheet can generate lift if angled correctly. That's why paper airplanes work despite having no curved top surface. The Wright brothers understood this complex interplay over a century ago. Their breakthrough wasn't just their engine. It was their wing design and controls that made sustained flight possible. So next time someone tells you it's all about air moving faster over the top, you can explain, a plane flies because its wings are creating a hurricane of redirected air and pressure differentials. That metal tube isn't defying physics. It's embracing it in all its complex glory.